Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Tiana bracelet. And the colours we're going to need are a darker tone for skin, black for hair, green for her dress, and I'm using a sparkly yellow for her dress as well. And that also will act as her crown. I'm going to be using two little seed beads, they're a size 6 seed bead and I have those threaded onto the same colour that I'm using for her skin tone. I'm going to need one red band for her mouth and a clip of some sort. I prefer to use the Q-clip um, to close off bracelets, I find them a little bit more secure. Our loom is going to be in the offset configuration which means column 1 and 3 are going to be slightly lower than column 2 it's going to be arrows facing towards us. If you don't have arrows, it means the open part of the peg is facing towards us. We're also going to be double banding, which means you take two bands and you place them across the pegs as if they were a single band, like this. So we'll start off doing that for her hair. And if you find that your bands are a little bit twisted, sometimes just running your hook around the inside helps straighten them up a little bit. Because the last thing you want to do is have sort of twisted bands, especially on the face, that can just look a bit horrible. Push your bands down to give yourself a bit of space. I'm going to take a single band, I'm going to stretch it across her face like that, and the same in the spot above, like that. I'm going to take, actually, what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to do it a bit differently. Take it, I'm going to twist it three times one, two, and three, and we'll pl place that there. And then when we place the eyes, that band underneath will stop the eyes from sinking to the back of the head. What I'm going to do is push my thin hook down, my fine hook, and just pop that little bit up there, like so. Okay, so now what we're going to do is put an end cap here, the same colour as her skin, Stretch it, figure eight, wrap it around your fingers a couple of times. Now I did that twice, which means that it's wrapped three times. I'd actually probably like to have it wrapped once more. So I'm going to take my hook and wrap that once more. Um, we're going to do hair extensions. Now there's a couple of ways, two ways that I'm familiar with, that you can do hair extensions. You can do a layer which is what I'm quite familiar with, which is where you take extra bands and you place one here, at, well, it's a pair, when I say one, it's one pair, and another pair here, like that. And we work that layer first. The other way of doing it is to take a single band, wrap it around your hook, take a double band, slide on, take another pair and slide on and what we're going to do is place this part here there and then sliding a hook down the end cap the part that we made for the end cap you actually place that there so that's one way of doing it this is the other we'll do both um, if we like or we can just we'll just do this way really doesn't matter. So take a single band, wrap it once and twice, double band, either way works, I guess doing the same way is better because there is an end cap on one and not on the other. So we have this, take it over here, stretch it out, 
Some people find layers a bit difficult. I love them. It gives you the ability to pretend you're working with an extended loom when in fact you're just working with a single loom. So there we have that. We're now going to do her hair, um, I'm sorry, her hair, her dress, which is really just the arms of a bracelet, but we're going to pick the same colours that her dress would be. So I'm going to pick two sparkly yellow and another two sparkly yellow. Push those down. Two sparkly yellow. and two sparkly yellow and then I'm going to move to the green because after all she is the frog princess now the crown and her mouth we are going to put on after the fact all the way to the bottom of the loom and then let's do the same on the other side And then we will put end caps in green on these two ends. So take a single band, wrap around your fingers and place on. Wrap around your fingers, push that down a bit and place on. Now we're going to loom these up. So dig down past the end cap and grab the two bands Same this side. Okay, so we'll loom up to here and up to here. Now we're going to dig down past the brown end cap and grab those two top bands and loom across and then the same for the other side loom across and let's do the middle one as well dig down and loom up we're going to take the black bands from the top here this is hair extension off our loom and just hold it out to the side here dig down and find the bottom two brown bands and loom up. Then we're going to put these two black ones back on our loom. Careful not to drop one. And then dig down and find the two black ones and loom those up. Let's do the same on this side. Take these black ones off the loom, that's the extension. Hold them out here. Dig down, find the bottom two brown bands and loom up, put the extension back on, like that, dig down, find the two bottom black bands and loom up. Now we can do the middle, loom up and loom up and then the sides here, across and across. Take two black bands and we're going to tie this off by putting your hook down the middle peg here, poke it out the side, put the two black bands on and twist your hook so the smooth side is going to go against the peg, pull it out, reclaim your bands and take the two closest to you up, over and off and tie in a slip knot. We're ready to take this off the loom 
I ease things off with the back of a crochet hook. I don't like things, bands breaking and whatnot, so. Now I should add that the um, hair extension is a PG Lumacy little trick that he uh, I first noticed him doing when he did his Hello Kitty and he had converted it from a uh, double loom, an extended loom, to a single loom and he used the little trick of using extensions to puff out her skirt but it actually works quite well to puff out hair as well. Now, before I take this off the loom, I'm going to grab my Q-clip and I'm just going to pop it through like that and then I'm going to turn it the other way and pop it up like that and hopefully <laughs> it's not twisted, which it's not, yay! Clip that shut like that, so my bracelet's intact. Now, we have to do her crown and we have to do her mouth. For her crown, I'm going to use the sparkly yellow again. It's the same um, as her dress. I'm going to take a single one, stretch it, figure eight, loop it on itself, and I'm going to put that here on my loom. I'm going to do the same here. And one more here. And what I'm also going to do is do one here. And lastly, I'm going to put an end cap on the one with three, so this one here. Let's take a single band, wrap it once and twice, and we'll pop that there as our end cap. Now, if you want it to be less sort of saggy of an end cap, take it and loop it again, so that instead of just three times, it's four, like that. So we're going to loom this up, we're going to dig down past the end cap, and grab the two yellow bands at the bottom and loom them over to the side here. We're going to loom this one up. We're going to loom this one up. We're going to take this off the hook and bring it off the hook, off the loom, bring it over to here so that they're the same like that. Then we're going to take our hook down and grab those two bottom ones and bring up and we'll take this off our loom. As you can see, it is sort of like a little, a little triangle sort of diamondy thing. What I'm going to do is, and you can see I've got one here, taking a single band, I'm going to figure eight and loop it on itself. And the first two, see we've got four bands here, two this side, two this side. The first two I'm going to take off. I'm going to put this back here, like that. I'm going to take that off, and it's like I've tied it in a little knot, like that. Okay, I'm going to do the same for this side. Single band, stretch it, move these over, and I'm going to take this, if I can get my fingers around it, off the loom. There we go. I'm going to reclaim this side and my black bands like that and then I'm going to take this one up over and off and pull it tight so I've got little slip, slip knots either side there okay now I'm moving to a finer crochet hook if we have a look we have this V of a band here can you see that here I'm going to go one side of it, poke my, he my hook through the back of her head out to the front, making sure that it's sitting this, this way with the pointy bit up. I'm going to grab those two bands and pull them back to the back of her head here. I'm going to do the same the other side. Push my hook through, grab those two bands and pull them, both of them, <laughs> to the back of my figure. Let's see if I can get both of those bands. There we are. 
and I'm going to put them both well it's all four isn't it on my hook now one looks like it's higher than the other so a bit of fiddle faffing around will sort this out that's a technical term by the way okay so we've got that there now what I'm going to do is take the first two and put them through the second I'm going to grab the bands from the top I'm going to pull those down and I'm just going to kind of loop these until I can make them a bit shorter behind some of these bands at the back of her head and then I'm going to find an S clip or a Q clip or a C clip, whatever clip you like and I'm just going to attach those to that and find a band the other side of her head, just a, a brown band or whatever and attach that to that side so that that's secured so there we have her little crown okay that's secured on her head we're going to do her lips pull this up a bit there we go let's do her lips I'm going to take a single red band and I'm going to cut it I'm going to take my hook and push it through the back of her face and I'm going to grab sort of squeeze it in half I'm going to squeeze that band in half and I'm going to grab the center of that band and sort of letting go of one side I'm going to have her on the on the um, band like that I'm going to do it the other side of her face where the other part of her smile should be and drag that through too like that and these I'm just going to tie in a knot Sorry, I hit the camera. Tie that in a knot, nice and tight. And trim that down a bit because you really don't want the red bands showing at the front. But don't trim it so short that it's going to untie the knot that you just made. So like that. Now, let's spread her face out a bit. She needs to have pupils to her eyes. I'm going to use a black sharpie. I'm also going to fiddle with this piece of hair here. It's annoying me. That's a bit better. Okay, so let's do our eyes. So, as I said, I have a black sharpie. I'm going to draw her pupils on either side now if you prefer to use bands I'm sure there are people out there that do tutorials that use bands instead feel free it's completely up to you it's your bracelet and there my friends we have a Tiana bracelet the frog princess look forward to seeing yours take care bye bye